the fact that I can actually film these videos now because I don't work at Apple anymore is so exciting. Also, there's a ring light blaring in my face and I have not experienced that in a minute because I'm filming at nighttime and I feel like I'm about to start sweating. Hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I create lifestyle, college, and entrepreneurship content on this YouTube channel. And I hope you guys stick around, join the fam, join the squad. We would love to have you here. So as you can see by today's title, iOS 15 it came out for the iPhones and I'm so excited to kind of just like dive into this video, show you guys some new things that I've discovered and new things that Apple's promoting on the iOS 15 and just go through it, show you the fun things that you guys can look forward to when you update your phones or if you already updated it, you can see little fun things that have come with the new update. Um, but there's not much explaining to do for this. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, join this awesome little community that we got going. If you like my vibes, of course. Um, but yes, I guess we'll just jump into the video. I want to show you guys what is up. So I wrote on my iPad some things that I want to go over and kind of making sure I don't forget anything. So we're going to start recording in the screen. This ring light is really, really bright. Okay. So the first thing I want to show you guys is the notifications. So the notifications have changed. So you can see here right now I have like notifications from Snapchat, Instagram, Uber Eats, my boyfriend, Twitter. So they're just kind of clumped together. So if you're in a scenario where you saw what they said, when you click on it, it'll just show you all the tweets, but it kind of bunches it all together. If you have a lot of notifications coming in, it just is a different vibe. I'm going to ask my boyfriend to text me for the video so I can show you guys what it looks like when it pops up on the top. So yeah, it looks like that at the top. It's just a very slim, different kind of look. Um, so that's new with the notifications. Go over to the homepage, or we're already on the homepage basically. Something really cool that I found from a YouTube video that I was watching. Um, I don't remember his name, I'll link it down below because I watched his video to kind of understand more of the updates. Um, so I'm gonna link that down below. But when you hold down on the like homepage, it like shows you the little things moving and like you can add widgets and stuff. What's really cool is if you click these things with the little four dots at the bottom, it shows you your three, like how many homepages you have. So I have three. So what's really cool is you can actually switch them around. So I can put that one as my first one. So when I go, that is my initial first homepage, which can save you a lot of time if you like constructed it in a certain way and you want everything to stay on the same page. So we're just gonna move that back. But that is something super, super cool and I thought I would share it with you guys. So another cool thing is if I go on a conversation and I open a conversation with my friend, Megan. So if I, yeah, I open a conversation with my friend, Megan, um, you can see at the right top, the FaceTime logo is there. So if I click on that, I can actually just FaceTime her right away, which is super cool, convenient for people who FaceTime a lot and don't want to have to go searching for it. I know it's like literally you can just write FaceTime and find it, but this is convenient. If you're talking on a chat and someone says FaceTime, you just click that thing and then it's FaceTiming right away. Another cool thing is with the photos. So they kind of bunch them together. So I'm going to send Megan these three pictures of screenshots that I have. And basically when I send it, as you can see, it makes it into like a little collage looking thing. Um, so it's just easier for the person to see all the pictures coming in. And like if I click on it and then I can just swipe like regular, but it just gives it a more like aesthetic, like not type of vibe, if you know what I mean. So that's something really cool with messages. Another cool thing that you can also do in messages is scan text. So I got this random to-do list that I have sitting on my desk. So if I hold down here and I click the scan thing, I can actually just scan my paper right now and it writes out everything that I want it to say. So you can like, if you have to send a whole paper to someone but you have to write it and you don't want to send a picture of the paper, or if you're doing a school assignment and you have it like written by hand and you want anything. Scan text, super easy, super, super, like, super, what's the word? Usable, super important, super, I don't know the word, but all this to say, super usable. Convenient, convenient, super convenient. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, so we're gonna move on. So the next one is Safari. It kind of got a facelift. It got, it, it got changed a bit. So as you can see here, the search is at the bottom. You just search and the keyboard pops up. So if I want to search YouTube creators, I don't know, search, um, that pops up. And then you can add more tabs easily. I don't know, but I thought it was cool. They kind of gave it a facelift, like I said. And then at the bottom, you can also, if you have multiple tabs open, you can just swipe at the bottom left or right. 
to go navigate through the different tabs that you have open. So that makes it convenient if you're going back and forth. You could just swipe instead of like having to go click here and then find it. Like swipe, swipe, swipe. We now have the weather app that is also updated. So it's more techy, I would say. It has more things going on. So the 10 day forecast kind of has the UV rays showing. It also has that it's gonna rain. So that is super exciting, super fun. Can't wait for all that rain. Can't wait for all that rain to come and show up, you know. So that's the hourly forecast. And at the bottom, it also has things like low health risk, air quality, temperature, UV index, sunrise, rainfall, humidity, all those, all those things. Um, so it's very, very like in-depth kind of stuff. Um, I don't really know what half these things are saying, but it got updated, got more techie, got more things going on. For maps, I'm going to try and cover where I live. Um, it has different things like explore, driving, transit, satellites. So you're able to see the map in different views. So if you're driving, it'll tell you where there's traffic, if you want to use a transit. So if you're going to take the metro or subway or something, it'll give you the transit routes. Or you can do satellite, I believe, shows you like actual buildings, which is super cool. I'm going to go to a random place. God knows where, right here. Um, it's just this and then you could do 3D so it actually shows you the buildings. I don't know if the other one had it like that before but I thought it was really cool. There's also a way, there we go. This is cool. So now you have a globe. So I live in North America but I could see the whole entire globe from maps now which is super cool. I don't really know what I would personally use this for but just thought it was cool to show you guys. So here, so this is a picture of me at one of my photo shoots um, and if I click the little I, so like information button. It'll tell me like this was taken on Friday, February 7th, 2020 at 12.31 p.m. It was taken by a Sony ILCE 7M3. It was 35 millimeter lens. The F point was 1.8, 24 megapixels, 4,000 by 600. Like ISO was 125. It tells you everything, which is super cool, especially if you're into photography and stuff like that, um, to kind of see like, oh, this is how I got that shot. Like this is what I used. I think it's I think it's cool so for all my people that need you know background noise when they're sleeping or stuff this one is for you so I need to find it first um, go to accessibility then you're gonna find audio visual and background noises so background noises I can have rain playing so and then I could put it how high I want it or how low I want it you also have so you have balance noise, bright noise, dark noise, ocean, rain, or stream. And then you can choose between which one you want and just have it playing in the background. So for someone who like likes study, who needs something like in that background to sleep, like sometimes falling asleep to the sound of rain is actually magical. Um, you can turn the background noises on and impeccable. There's something else that I think is super cool and it's called focus mode. So when you scroll down and you click the focus button here, you have filter notifications, signal to friends when you're not available and hide distractions without missing what's important. So you can put like regular do not disturb on, you can put sleep on, you have personal and work. So if I click personal, don't miss out, allow notifications from important people. Um, so I can put these people as allowed to message me when I put like that I'm going away or whatever. Um, I'm not gonna turn that on now because I don't wanna mess anyone up. I thought that was really cool because some people use their phone as a work phone. And sometimes we all have trouble like kind of turning it off or like not like not working after we say we don't want to work. So if you're able to filter those messages and not get them till tomorrow morning or just ignore, not ignore calls, but like not answer calls till the next morning. I don't know. I thought it was cool and I thought it's a good way to kind of help those people, especially the ones that aren't working a nine to five, kind of cut off notifications from happening while they're supposed to not be working. You know, you got something else that's cool in the notes app. So I'm going to start a new note. You can do hashtags. So if you are someone like me who literally has 42 notes open for video ideas, I could do hashtag video ideas. And now it's a hashtag. So when I go here, my folders at the bottom, you see the tags and I messed up. I put IOA 15, but there's video ideas hashtag. So when I click on it, there will be all the notes that have video ideas. So that is key. That is super important. That is something that I never really thought I needed, but I do need. Another cool thing that I think is really cool for when like you're traveling or things like that is there's a translate integrated now into your phone. 
So let's say I just wrote up like Mandarin sentences and I do translate. Basically here, it'll say, basically, so this Chinese writing translate to are you sure? And then you can actually play it. So you play the Chinese one, so. And then you can play the English one. Are you sure? So I think it's just cool because sometimes people comment on my Instagram videos or message me in different languages and I have no idea what they're saying. So I feel like this will help me navigate that and understand what people are saying um, better. But I thought that was cool. It makes it really accessible, especially for travel. When I used to work retail, um, there would be a lot of people from abroad that would come in and I didn't really understand what they were saying. So I feel like having a translation integrated into your phone really, really do the trick. And the last thing is, I wanna show you my Memoji. So I changed my Memoji up a bit. There's different, um, different poses that they're doing now. So there's the calming, Call me, beat me if you want to reach me. There's the hearts. There's the waving. These ones I already have. There's one that's sleeping. There's an idea one. There's a cloud one. There's a sick one, which I hope we don't use because we don't want COVID here. Get vaccinated. Um, you have the, let me tell you, secret bud. You have the, I'm scared. You have meditation. Um, I don't know which other ones weren't there before. I think the bottom ones were always there, but there's a lot of new um memoji scenarios that are happening and then if you edit it so if i edit my emoji um we can go to the beginning there's a lot of different skin options there's a lot of more hairstyles that are going on i put the braids because feeling it um we got the brows eyes head there's also head shapes you got noses mouth ears which I also think is very, they have more accessible things. So they have like um, hearing aids and things like that. Facial hair, eyewear. So then for the people that wear glasses, we have the glasses up there. Um, we also got eye patches. There's more for headwear, which also includes like turbans, hijabs, which I think is really important. There's also mask ones, but I don't want to wear a mask in my thing because I don't want to have COVID. Um, but... Yeah, and then there's a lot of more clothing options too, which is super cool. So I thought I would share that because I'm obsessed with my emoji. Like she is, she is so cute. Look at her channeling Amanda. But other than that, I think those are like the main updates that I saw and was interested and thought that you guys would be interested in seeing. iOS 15 so far is really cool. The only thing that I'm not feeling too much is the notifications like how they're bundled together but I think it's really interesting how they're trying to make things more like aesthetically pleasing and just more useful and I don't know I like it it's, it's going well so far um but other than that that is the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if I missed anything that you think is super cool about iOS 15 please comment it down below I would love to hear what you guys think any fun things that I might have missed and things that I can use because I use my phone every single day literally so much. Um, so anything that I can learn or new things that I can utilize in my every single day, I would love to know. So thank you guys again for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here and I will see you next time. Bye guys.